So we are actually back at spawn. I wanted to go ahead and make some more water potions and empty out my inventory because it was getting really full. But I still want to go ahead and find some more fishies. So we have our puffer fish we found, the red and white one, and the orange and white one. Uh, but I want to find some more colorful fishies. I know that there's more. I've seen like pink and purple and all different types of colors and combinations um, and photos and other people's videos. So I'm going to see if I can find... Uh, some more of those type of fishes. So we're gonna go ahead and go back out for attempt number two uh, To go ahead and get some to go fishing. I should say we're gonna go fishing, but we're gonna use buckets to do so So we got our water breathing potions. We got some buckets and uh, let's go ahead and see if we are more successful in this round Ooh, Look at all this delicious coral. I definitely need to go ahead and pick up some more of this stuff and let's see, is there any fish? I don't see a lot of fish. Oh, there's a fishy right there. There's a there's a black and white one. Not super colorful, but very, very cute. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and get some buckets ready and take one of these potions. Oh, there's more fishies. Okay, so I see some more. Uh, let's go ahead and fill these up with water. And I definitely want to get one of you guys because I don't have... I think they're more of like black and gray. Uh, can I get you? Can I get you, little guy? There we go. We got that one. All right, so a little black and gray buddy. And let's see, there's some more over here. Uh, what are you guys? All right, we got some gray ones. I want some colorful ones. Ooh, what are you? Ooh, very interesting looking things. Uh, I guess I'll take you too, because you're like a different shape. You're like an angelfish. All right, uh, let's go back in the boat and see if we can find some more. Whoa, look at that. What kind of biome is that? That looks crazy. Oh my goodness. Let's go ahead and get closer to see uh, if we can tell what that is. It does have snow, so that is useful. I wonder if there's like an ice peak biome or something close by. That would be really cool. Uh, but what does it say it is? It is ocean uh, stone shore interesting so the stone shore biome uh, let's see if it changes when we actually get on land and get a little bit closer uh still the stone shore hello cow what's going on over here man <laughs> it's crazy uh let's go up this way is it gonna change anything or is this all okay so wooded mountains okay that's new or at least new to me or at least i have never seen anything quite like this before uh so that's pretty cool I wonder what it looks like from up top. Oh my goodness, look at this, guys. That looks so cool. Uh, wow, this is pretty awesome. So it's still called a wooded mount. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. What a lovely sight I see. Those are not sheep, my friends. What kind of biome is this over here? Is it still just the, okay, now it's just mountains. We found some llamas. Oh my goodness. I have never had llamas in Minecraft before. Do I have to tame you? Do I need a saddle? Uh, what do I, what do I do with you? Can I get on you? Um, okay. So yeah, we do need to tame these guys. Okay. They're so cute though. So there's a bunch of them over here. And let's see. Will I get you to love me? Do I need to feed you anything? And do I have the things that I need to- Okay, you love me now. Okay, so now I can go ahead and put, uh, I think, carpet on you. Uh, so this is my llama. And unfortunately, with llamas, you can't actually uh, ride them and control them. Like, you can ride them, but they're not going to listen to you where you want to go. But you can lead them around uh, with leads. And I don't have a lead on me right now. Um... Let us see what we should do. I kind of want to get some wool. I think I saw some sheep over here. And I want to, like, put some wool on my llama. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and see if we can find some sheepies um, somewhere over here. Alright, so I do see some sheep down there. So let's go ahead and get these guys. So our llama will not be naked anymore. I'm sorry, you must be naked. Hello? There we go. You must be naked so my llama is not naked. Alright, so let's go ahead and get some of this stuff. And I think we can go ahead and dye this wool different colors and like give llamas like 
different colored like carpet thingies. I don't know, this is so cool though. My very first llama. Uh, let's go ahead and get this bowl. And since we're in a swamp right now, it is raining, which is unfortunate, but there is that beautiful like blue orchids. Uh, so let's go ahead and make a carpet out of this flower. Uh, let's see, my inventory problems are real. Let's go ahead and throw out some seeds. Hey, hey, did you take my dye or my flower? Uh, there, there we go. We have our blue orchid. There's light blue dye. All right, so we should have enough. How many? We have eight pieces of wool. So that should definitely be enough to go ahead and dye some wool. So let's go ahead and go back up here. All right, so we have found our llama. So our llama is right here. Let's go ahead and make our llama a special gift uh, with this wool that we have. And let's go ahead and dye it light blue. Um, all right. That, oh, no, it doesn't work, does it? Oh, no, you can only do it one at a time. It's not clay. You can't just go like that and make a bunch of colored wool. What was I thinking? Um, all right, so I guess we're gonna have to go with a white for now. Uh, we'll get some more like different colors later in the future. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and see what type of carpet thingy white does. And look at you. Okay, so now our llama is all decorative. It's white, red, and green. Very nice. Okay, you're pretty. You're the prettiest llama ever, aren't you? Yes, yes, yes. So, um. I'm thinking since I want to take you home with me, I can put you in a boat with me and we can go ahead and go home together on a boat. So I'm going to have to push you in the swamp area. Okay, this this okay, this could be this could be dangerous. Llama, I need you. Uh okay, llama, llama no. No llama. Let's go down this way. Okay, zombie, can't you see I'm trying to do something here? Dude, you don't even care. You don't even care that I'm trying to get a llama friend. And I'm trying to kill you with die. You just don't care. Okay, uh, we're under attack. And it's raining. And it's scary outside. Uh, let's go ahead and eat some golden carrots. And try not to die. They're chasing me. But I want my llama. Come here, llama. Good llama. Yes, go down. Go down. I want you to go down. Go, oh God, don't hurt my llama! Oh my gosh! Don't hit my llama! You skeleton! What are you thinking? Don't hurt my llama! Oh my goodness, that was so rude! Like, why would somebody just shoot a llama? What did the llama ever do to you? That's what I want to know. Alright, llama, come over here. I want you to go ahead and go in the water. And then you can go in the boat. <gasps> There's slime balls! <gasps> There's a slime over here! Ooh! Don't mind if I do. Alright, llama. Go in. Go in there. Alright, perfect. So now our llama is in the boat. So this should definitely help us uh, take our llama home. I'm very curious now to see if there's any other like slimes around. Since there was just like slime balls chilling over there. Um, so I guess we'll take a peek around the swampy area. Oh yeah, there are some more slimes. <gasps> perfect. Let's go ahead and kill some slimes. Uh, while we're out here, uh, just so we can go ahead and get some more slime balls. And then we can make leads and other things with this. So, Llama, you just stay in the boat. And I'm going to go ahead and take care of some of these slimes. Oh my gosh, it made babies. And it made baby slimes. And then, let's see. Ooh, there's bad things. There's skeletons. There's creepers. Um, Maybe we'll go ahead and wait till morning <laughs> to go look for slime. Yeah, let's go ahead and just, you know, rest over here. And I don't want anything bad to happen to my llama. So I don't want my llama to get shot again uh, with some of this. Oh, look how cool that is. Oh, we have a new llama friend. Oh, that is just perfect. That is amazing. You're so cute. I can't wait to bring you home. And I'm going to love you and squeeze you. And you can be my squishy. What? Oh my gosh. I'm... What? You can... <laughs> You can uh, sit on the llama while the llama's in a boat? What the heck? That's crazy. I didn't know you could do that. That's insane. What the heck is happening here? So I'm just hanging out with my llama in my boat, having a good old time. So it is the next real life day. So I don't know if there's any slimes left over um, <laughs> over here. Oh my goodness. Uh, so I guess we got to take our llama back home with us. And see if we could figure out 
where we live. I think I should be okay though. I do want to check and see if there's any slime balls on the ground, but I doubt it since I know people have been on the server while I was away. Ooh, there's a crafting table over here. I don't think that's my crafting table. What? There's been people here. People have been over here. Llama, what do we do? But yeah, I'm not thinking there's going to be any slime balls or any slimes left over since it has been some time since I've been on the server. All right, Llama friend. It is our job and our duty to make it back home safely. Okay? Okay, we'll do this. Um, I do want to go ahead and write down these cords too because I would like to go ahead and bring back uh, some more of these llamas in the future. So let me just go ahead and take a screenshot. Perfect. We did it. All right, llama friend. Let's go ahead and see if we can make it back home. And maybe on our way we can find some more colorful fish too, which was our original mission, to go ahead and find a bunch of colorful fish. Those fish look gray. They're not colorful. I want colorful rainbow fish. Llama, we have found a dark oak forest. Oh my goodness. So I don't know if I have any dark oak. Uh, at the moment, so I think it's a good idea to go ahead and stop over here and uh, pick up some of these saplings of these dark oaks. And they should be very useful for building in the future. So llama friend, you stay over there and I'm going to go ahead and collect some of this wood. Yes, I need it. It's delicious. Oh hey, look at this. I think I have found an underwater ship. And I don't know, llama friend, if anyone has been out here before uh, over to this area. So let's go ahead and see if we can find anything inside of here. Oh my goodness, this looks so cool. Ooh, and I see a chest in there. Uh, all right, so let's see. Do I have any more breathing potions? I do. I should probably take one before I die. All right, so let's go ahead and take that. And there is nothing in here. Oh, there it is. Okay, so there is some stuff. An empty map and a buried treasure map. It's so weird how sometimes um, it will like have nothing in there. And then you open it again and then it has some stuff in there. So, very interesting. Let's see. What can I get rid of? I guess I can go ahead and empty some of these buckets uh, to make some more space. We have some saplings. Wool. I could get rid of this wool uh, because I know I can get more wool and there's a water bottle. So let's go ahead and take this buried treasure map and see if we can find some treasure. There might be another chest in this boat too. It looks kind of big. So let's see. Let's take a moment to see if we can find it anywhere. Maybe there's one down here somewhere. It's so cool though. I love being able to find like these random like ships and different like uh, ruins in the ocean full of treasure. I think that is really fun. Definitely a really good addition for Minecraft. Uh, let's see, is there anything like under here? Uh, don't think so. Okay, so I guess that's just one, one chest for now. I might be missing one, but I did get a buried treasure map, so that makes me excited. Uh, let's go ahead and see if this is a new one. Ooh, it definitely does look like a new one. I've never had this map before. So llama friend, what do you say? Why don't we go ahead and adventure to see if we can find this buried treasure? Oh, and what do you know? While we're looking uh, for some buried treasure, the slimes are back, so that is perfect. Llama friend, we can go ahead and get some more slime balls. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to do that. All right, llama friend, you stay here. And we're going to go ahead and mess with some of these slimes. And there are lots of creepers over there, too. So we are going to have to be careful to not get exploded on. Oh my goodness, look at all these slimes. I need all your slimy goodness. Yes, yes. It would be really fun too to take like a baby slime home one day as like a pet. Oh gosh, are you gonna kill my baby slimes? Oh no, oh no. Okay, all right, we got you. And then our babies, yes, yeah, slime balls. We can make all of the leads. Llama friend, I will be back for you. I am on the hunt for this treasure, and I think it's somewhere on this continent area. I've been having a hard time trying to find it, but I have the map starting to like fill out a little bit, so I think I'm on the right track. We just need to continue, and maybe one day we can find the buried treasure. Oh yes, I'm on the map! Alright, we can do this. We can do this. And the treasure should be somewhere around here. 
So it looks like it's in the water a little bit, so we're going to have to uh, dig down here. I do have another water breathing potion, so let's go ahead and take that so we can uh, spend our time down here digging up, looking for this buried treasure, and hopefully it's not too far down. And we have found it! Ooh, and there's lots of things in here. Oh, and there's diamonds too! Oh my goodness! Alright, so I want to get all this stuff, uh, but my inventory problems are real. Oh my gosh, there's a whole, like, stack of iron in there. What the heck? Alright, so we definitely want to take this. We'll put the dirt in there. Uh, the sand. I want the diamonds. Those are nice. The gold is nice too. Prismarine. Ooh, definitely want the heart of the sea. Uh, and there's TNT in there too, which would be nice. Can I empty out these buckets? Yes! Okay, so let's go ahead and empty some of these buckets so we can go ahead and have more inventory space to uh, take more treasure with us and we'll leave one water bucket just in case we find like a really cool fish that we want to go ahead and take all right so tnt take the gold might as well go ahead and take this fish or maybe i want the prismarine quartz and there's an iron sword in here too oh my goodness uh we'll leave the seagrass in here we'll take this and then We'll leave this boat and we'll take that. All right, we have treasure and another heart of the sea, so that is really cool. So now we must go ahead and find where our llama friend is and uh, then we can go on our way. Llama friend, I am back, I've come back for you, but do you wanna know what's funny? I think this is where we originally got our llama because on the way uh, down here, I saw the llamas again. So they might be different ones, but I'm pretty sure this is where we found our llama in the first place because there are a bunch more llamas up here. Uh, let me go ahead and see if I can find them. And yes, right here. So I think this is originally where we actually got our llama friend, isn't it? I think so, yes. So I thought that was really funny that we ended up parking him right over there. Uh, and we're back where we started. But this has been a very, very long adventure for me. And uh, we've gotten lots and lots of cool stuff. My inventory is super full. So I think what I'm going to do is take our new llama friend home with us and uh, go ahead and put away all of my treasure. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Bunny Bay. We have lots of new friends. I need a new name for our brand new orange kitty that we got, for our adorable llama friend, and for all of these fishies that we have in these buckets. So if you have any name suggestions for me, please leave them down in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next one as we continue on our adventures. Bye!